So, Tommy, welcome back. Um, obviously, it's a month since the season finished last season. It's a month to go until pre-season gets going. So we're at that half point, halfway stage, really, of, of the break. So is the excitement bit starting to build a little bit? <laughs> well, the excitement never goes away from my point of view. I think a lot of people will realise that once the, the playing season finishes, a lot of what we do as a staff behind the scenes and your, your part of that knows things are going on all the time. So there's wheels in motion or there's plates spinning and you know people are doing all, all sorts of manner of things to make sure that when we do come back in a month's time that we've got as much of, of the squad and, and the setup that we want in place. It's no good, you know, rushing around at the last minute to, to just fill spaces. We, we want the right people in the right spots. So whilst I've been away for a short break, um, my phone's never been off and it's never stopped, as you can imagine. Um, so yeah, the, the excitement is building, of course, but in, in saying that, we're sitting here and we haven't seen the FA Cup final yet. So, you know, as far as, as, far as last season, it hasn't finished. Um, that, that and on top of that, the, the Champions League and the Europa League games have still got to be finished as well. So it's almost a 12 month sport now. Well, those plannings, those, that, all that thinking, is that kind of starting to take shape into actions now then? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm here at the EBB this morning um, from eight o'clock and I've had about five meetings with four or five different players, as you know. So from that point of view, um, I think it's important that the diligence we do in terms of looking at the type of player we have is, is not the only diligence we do. Me as a manager, I like to know them as character and I, I want to pick their brains before I, I commit. So I'm, I'm delighted that one or two that I've set out to be main targets quite early on or I'm really really close with and one or two have actually agreed so there'll be I'm sure there'll be news shortly if it hasn't already come out that um, we'll have one or two certainly join in the ranks. So let's talk about that recruitment really. So last season we saw quite a young squad didn't we? Um, there was a bit of experience in there. Is that the kind of makeup of the squad you're looking for or are you maybe trying to get a bit more experience within your squad? Well, I think the blend is the best the best alternative to any, any situation in terms of football, you know. Um, but these days, well, you just said it yourself, the, the group was young, but if you, although they were young, a lot of them have played 60, 70, 80 games, you know. So from that point of view, they're experienced of the level, but they're not, as a, as a group of people, they're not experienced at winning enough games at the level. Um, it's our job, I, I believe, to make sure primarily we win more football matches than than we have done previously <clears throat> and if that takes younger players middle of the road players or older players then it's us again as a staff to to try and pick the right people in the right spots that's what we're judged on so no doubt everybody that i inherited when i when i joined the club or be for a very short period at the end of the season i know they give their all to to make sure that the club retained its status I think the objective primarily at this stage is to improve in every department and that's in the training methods, in the playing results um, and in the performances. So to a man, everybody will know their job within within hours of being back inside the building and some of them even before that. So um, I'm looking forward to, to the challenge really. Well, looking at the players that are you know currently part of the squad, obviously after the retained list was announced. Are they well? You know, are they safe in, in the squad, or, or is is it is it one of those where they've got to earn their keep again through pre season? Well, that works both ways. At the end of the day, you know, any manager at any football club wouldn't, in my eyes, want to keep players who don't want to be there, and they might want to be there for lots of reasons. And maybe because the manager who the joined the club to to work for isn't there anymore. It may be because the manager who joined the club doesn't pick them as much or hadn't picked them as much. So there are all sorts of things, but if that's if that happens, you know, they can be reassured that I, I will do the best thing I can for the player and for the club. And that and that's I think that's the same the world over. You know, at the end of the day there'll be nobody or there has been nobody told by me that they are not wanted by this football club. I respect the fact that they're under contract, therefore they're on the payroll, therefore they have a job to do for all the short term. And until we all decide what it is, and I've not had anybody, you know, demand that they leave, but there, there are one or two that have shown or certainly told me that they feel they might be better off moving elsewhere, and that may well happen. But it's not it's not a one way thing, it has to be then three a three party way because there has to be another club willing to take the player and we have to be happy the way in the manner in which he leaves. So Again, this is all something that's really 
old hat to me, but it's it's probably not so well known amongst amongst the public or the fan base. One of those confirmations we've had in in the you know the period of holidays was Keen Anderson signing a new contract. Obviously, mm-hmm. he was on the bench, wasn't he, for the last game of the season? Um, is he a player that you can see having a, a big future at Oldershot as, as a local lad? Obviously. Well, hopefully. I mean, in the very short period I was here, although although Keen was actually out on loan for the first three or four games, uh, as was Tom Willard. They, they came in and trained with us, which was really good. And he showed me enough in the, in the short period that I saw him that I, he has a skill set that I can work with. Now, there's a lot of, there's a lot more required than than impressing me on a training ground because obviously the level that the lad has played at so far in senior football is is below this level. But he'll be with us on a daily basis, and he'll have an opportunity in the six weeks of pre-season certainly to stake a claim. I'm sure he'd be in agreement, and the people who look after him, if he's not quite up to it at the beginning of the season he may go out a step higher for another loan period but that's something that is basically in his hands at the moment um that said there are there are players who didn't get to play much football for whatever reason um towards the end of last season when i when i came in that they'll be fit and well and raring to go and i'm sure they'll want to to show me what what they can do so like i said it's that that short period was hectic and it was it was crucial and it was worrying at times, but we got through it and that's it. It's gone, it's behind us. We've got to look at the new season as an absolute a fresh page and every one of the players is the same, whether they were in the team or not in the team. Um, like I said, retained lists, they're still coming out now. I read yesterday a team yeah. that's only just been promoted out of one of the divisions has just put their retained list out. So it's, it's part of the, the politics of football. You have to do these sort of things. But I've had conversations with all the players, every player that I, I worked with here at, 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 uh, at Aldershot. And I'm, in a, I'm comfortable where we are and I'm comfortable with what we've got in terms of possible going outs and more likely possible coming in. Well, looking back at that little short period you had last season, it does mean that you go into next season undefeated as Aldershot Town manager. Does that give you a bit of confidence going into next season? Oh, well, that doesn't give me confidence. It just it's a nice thing to look back on, to be honest with you. Like I said, I don't drive my car looking in the back mirror all the time. I go look through the front windscreen. So, you know, that's something we need to build on. What I do know is one of the main objectives from my point of view, just having looked at the, the basic form of Aldershot Town at home over the last couple of seasons, it hasn't been good enough. And that's that's a fact. We've had to, we've had to win more games away from home than you need to, really. So we want to, we want to make this place somewhere people don't, enjoy coming enjoy the experience of coming to a fantastic stadium and a great pitch but don't expect don't enjoy the experience of our playing playing against us we've got really vociferous crowd if we've got a team that are absolutely functioning the same one mindset my mindset their energy but my mindset then i'm sure that the place will become a much more difficult place to take points away from and that will obviously be difficult, like you say, with the backing we get from our supporters. And obviously the season ticket sales so far have been brilliant. And, and I'm sure we'll be backed it by them again next season, won't we? Yeah, I mean, in, in just the three games that I was here, there were, I think there was an average of 2,600 in for them Them three games with three three odd against Yeovil and 2,500 in the other two games. So from that point of view, yeah, listen, it's great news to hear that this, the season ticket sales are going really well. And I encourage people. It is the best. It is the best value to watch football, without a shadow of a doubt. So I encourage people if, if you're sitting on the fence, jump on the right side of it and come and come and buy a ticket and come and come and support your side. At the end of the day, we will have a team representing all the Shot Town Football Club and the town and surrounding areas that they can be proud of. And obviously, um, there's a bit in a bit of an update behind the scenes of it in the dugout. You've got new uh, two new staff members joining you, haven't you, Hugo and Jamie? So tell us a bit more about those guys. Well, Hugo's somebody that people realise that I've worked with him at four or five clubs now, um, and he's multifaceted, but ultimately he's a UFA A licensed coach, um, and he's been an assistant to me for a very long time. He's a very trustworthy guy. He's fairly local to here as well, um, but he's currently on his family holiday in Dubai, so where's T sunning himself? We're, we're getting on with the graft. Um, so he'll pick up that when he comes back on Sunday, actually. Um, and Hugo, Hugo's skill set, stretches right across the board from coaching to a, a little bit of um, 
inclusion that when they leave the physio he will he will manage workloads and, and stuff alongside the sports science guys he's he's just a he's a very talented fella uh, and a very trustworthy ally let's say that jamie on the other hand is a, is a younger guy <coughs> excuse me who i took under my wing and mentored uh whilst i was the director of football at bristol rovers i was introduced to him by wail al Qadi, who is the owner of bristol rovers um and he became a very good scout very quickly um and somebody i've i've managed to forge a really good relationship on the basis that we see very similar things in football and that's not just about watching football matches it's about watching individuals how they perform he's very good at reading the data and analyzing and presenting um if i give him work to do it's come back to be very very sharp and how i like so if i ask for a cup of black coffee i don't get a cup of white tea so that me and him get on really well he'll be a little bit more remote and that you won't see him every day and he mightn't be here at every match day he'll be out watching football and and doing the 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 side of football that a lot of people don't see but it's hugely important and me and my history know how important that is and you need somebody whose eyes you trust because mine can't be elsewhere when when i'm concentrating where I, where i'm concentrating so both them lads would be a really good addition to the staff and the join richard who didn't get a lot of publicity when he come in um, but he's been an absolute rock to my right right hand side i'll just get one with hugo to my left now and um i can see it's been a really formidable staff and i'm, I'm looking forward to working to, with all three of them as well as the the other support staff we have here already Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.